Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we are finishing Squid Game Season 1. Before we hop on into the series finale, let's have a word from today's sponsor, Helix Sleep. Helix makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. They even designed their sleep quiz to help match your unique body type and sleeping position with the perfect mattress for you. Tyler is a back sleeper while I'm a stomach sleeper, so when we took the quiz together, Helix matched us with the Dusk Luxe mattress. We've now had our mattress for around six months and we absolutely love it. I've suffered a lot with back pain in my past, so I wanted something that was going to give me good support while still feeling really comfortable. The Dusk Lux mattress does just that by giving me just the right amount of firmness while still feeling really plush and cozy. With older mattresses, I would wake up feeling stiff and with neck pain, not having slept the best. But with my new Helix mattress, I sleep more soundly throughout the night, waking up with less pain and feeling refreshed. With your purchase, Helix will give you a 100 night sleep trial plus a 10 year warranty. So if you're a little apprehensive about buying something you haven't tried, Helix will give you just over three months to make sure that you love it. And if you don't like it, they will pick it up for you and give you a full refund. So either way, it's a win-win for you. Just click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash nataliegold for up to $200 off your new Helix Sleep mattress. Plus you get two free pillows. Who doesn't like free stuff? <laughs> Thanks again to Helix for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into Squid Game. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are finishing Squid Game season one. This show has definitely been a roller coaster of emotions. There's been much tension, suspense. I feel like I've been on the edge of my seat for multiple episodes. I had a few episodes end where I felt shaky and actually like my nerves had been racked. Um, I don't know any other way to describe it. I just actually felt uh, shaken up by a few of these episodes the way that they've ended. And the last episode that we watched, episode six, uh, just absolutely devastated me. I wept the whole time. And I really don't want to cry today. So I'm really hoping <laughs> that these next few episodes don't uh, wreck me emotionally. The show has just been really well crafted. The art style is really great. The acting has been incredible, especially in the last episode. I really enjoyed all of the one-on-one -on -one scenes that we got to experience where people were kind of um, showing their true colors a bit more. It was really emotional and really beautiful and the performances went hand in hand with the writing really well. The sound design and the music has been incredible and the plot has just been so unique and the things that we're exploring, like playing all these childhood games that are life or death is so messed up. And a lot of the imagery is really powerful. A lot of the things that keep popping up again, like um, the present box with the pink bow image and the uh, arcade, arcade game music that we're hearing with like the money and the pig. And it feels like we're making these people dance for this prize. It's very disturbing. And it raises a lot of interesting questions about the society that uh, a lot of these people are living in and what a lot of people are going through. And what they are willing and not willing to do in order to win this money. A lot of really intense stakes and I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm really curious to see how it all ends because I think I've heard that the show was in talks for a second season, so I don't know if we're gonna finish this game or not. I mean, this episode is called VIPs, so I'm assuming that the VIP guests are gonna be coming in to this episode. We still haven't caught up with a detective in a while. I'm wondering what he's up to and what he's gonna do. There's just a lot of moving parts already in this show. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen with the remaining characters that we have who are living. I mean, there's still three episodes. A lot can happen in three episodes. I'm wondering if we're ever gonna see who the man is behind the mask that's running the whole show, the front man, um, and why he speaks English sometimes. Like, I think that's pretty interesting. He's the only character that's spoken English in this entire episode or entire season and I'm wondering if there's any significance to that. All in all this show has just been really captivating and really interesting so far and really well crafted and I'm kind of just excited to hop on into it and explore more episodes with you guys. So if you guys are ready, I think we should grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the series. Oh, right. 
Ollie. God, I'm still devastated by that. Like the old man I saw coming, but Ollie I had hope for, you know? I shouldn't have. That was my mistake. Oh, I wonder what happened. Oh, did she survive? Is she alive in here? Did she just get to chill? The girl, the annoying girl? I never remember her name. Is she fine? Wow. Uh-oh. She never learns. She always taunts him. You know, I kind of figured she survived because she's so annoying and like also such a loose cannon. Like she's good to keep around, you know? <laughs> oh my God, her laugh is so maniacal. Ma'am, you never learn. Don't taunt him. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> He's, he could kill you, ma'am. He, he might, like, <laughs> simmer down a little bit. Oh, yeah. The man, the, the husband survived. Yeah, what he's going through. Oh, God. Ugh. What he's going through is worse than anyone, man. Oh, God. I can't. Huh. Oh, I can't cry again. Oh, I can't cry again. I really don't want to cry right now. They're not going to agree, man. I don't think anyone wants to leave as much as you do. Even after what they went through. Oh, I feel so bad for him. I keep thinking back on that couple. Like, I would have been like, let's change the rule. Let's make our... Oh, he has the last marble. Ah. I would have made the rules like, we're going to switch partners with this other group as part of the rules, you know? Oh my God, the VIPs wear creepy gold animal masks. Are you serious? Like, this couldn't get any more cult-like and scary. Jesus. <laughs> Who's this guy? Oh God, that is a terrifying mask. Oh, he's going to take it. Is it the guy that was like enticing uh, Lee Jung Jae's character? Maybe not. I don't know. I just want to see that guy again, you know? Where is the host? Unfortunately, some urgent business has prevented him from attending. Seriously? Wow. Are the v VIPs Europeans and Americans? I hope you won't disappoint me. I'm still more intimidated by the front man when he speaks English because it sounds so robotic. What the heck? So we got foreigners in here now? Oh, he was hiding in here, the detective. <gasps> that was a great reveal. I am dying to know what this next game is. Give us a hint, will you? Whoa! This set is so cool. I put a lot of money on that <laughs> head to win. Oh, 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 how much did you bet? A million bucks! Oh, oh the husband? No, oh, he's gonna kill himself? I don't. This is so disturbing, man. But this set is so cool. I love it. <laughs> Did he kill him? Did he kill this guy? Man, this guy has really gone undercover to the extreme. Maybe he just knocked them out? I don't know. <sighs> no, who are they bringing in here? This is f***ed up. What are they doing? Oh, because he killed himself. Oh, oh, because he killed himself. I don't want to see it. Oh, that is so devastating, man. That is just so sad. He couldn't live without his wife. Oh, f*** you, you prick laughing at him. Only 16 people left, man. That's insane. Uh-oh. Look, they're literally chess pieces. The players are literally represented as chess pieces. That's so f***ed up. Like, it's a merry-go-round. It looks like they have to cross a bridge to a merry-go-round and the chess pieces were all horses. This is so messed up, but like, I love it. Oh my god. Oh, I don't want to see people fall off a bridge, though. That's kind of horrible. Please choose a mannequin. They always make them choose when they don't know what they're choosing. It's so crazy. It's all like luck half the time. I would probably choose eight. I would just try to be in the middle. I wonder if it's gonna be like even versus odd. I'm, I'm starting to get that nervous, like really scared feeling in the pit of my stomach right now. <sighs> Actually, I may pick 12. 12 has always been my lucky number. They're all racing to pick as if they know what it means, you know? I wonder if it's the order of like what you cross the bridge. The front numbers are better, really? Why? Wouldn't you want to see other people go first? Oh, a time limit. Oh no, but you don't want to go first first. What, four is probably a safer bet. It's too late. Take four. Get four quickly. He's paralyzed, man. He's paralyzed. He's going to be stuck with whatever they give him. It's one or 16 now, dude. Oh, he's starting the game, man. Oh no. Oh. He's going to give him the number and then he's going to be stuck with 16. And if there's a timer, that's terrifying. Oh. oh, wow, jeez. How can you say no to that, man? <laughs> so messed up. Them lounging on these luxurious couches with people holding the foot cushions or acting as footstools for them. It's so crazy. And them all getting excited about it. Stepping stones. Oh, two types of glass. Tempered and normal. Oh, f 
Normal glass will shatter with just with one person. Oh God, you will just, uh, that's why it's better to be near the end. Do you have to like walk on two feet? Could I like crawl and hold onto the bar and like straddle it if it breaks? He, he regrets picking one, oh no. Oh no, there is a timer. Take your shoes off. Wait, that's part of the rules? F you can't wear shoes? That's so f***ed up. Oh, there's a timer. Oh, oh, Gihoon, you're f***ed, man. I mean, he'll make it. He's fine, but he's the star of the show. I, I can't imagine him dying, but... How do you choose wisely? It's a guessing game. <laughs> this is just a guessing game. This is so f***ed up. I wonder how far the jump is. Like, I would be like sitting on my butt trying to like reach my feet over and like bang on the glass ahead of me. But I don't know if the rules said you couldn't do that. What pretty eyes you have. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, Gihun really does have it well because all he has to do is like, the path will be laid out for him. He just has to do it quickly. He'll have to do it in like five seconds probably. Uh, I don't really want to keep seeing them fall. This is really stressful. I feel like he's about to be pushed or something. Oh, he made it far. Oh, he made it far. He just went for it. The problem was that is they had to remember exactly the path he took because the glasses didn't break in some of those tiles, you know? Oh. Th that's why the timer's so messed up in this scenario. Wow, they're all at the end. This is crazy. Oh God, we're in a single digit territory now. That's really stressful. Come on, number six, you gotta go. Go, dude. Oh, it's the religious guy. Oh, he's praying. Oh God. You're gonna kill everybody else, bro. Oh God, he's, oh God. Bro, you're losing him, man. Oh God. You gotta make him go, you do. Which one just f flew off? Oh God, not, oh God, oh God, it was number seven. Wow, after all that praying, you killed somebody with your own hands. This guy is losing it. Okay, keep going. All right, I hate to say good job, dude, but good job. This guy was stalling. Oh, and you got this guy on your tails. He's not really the one you wanna have on your tails. Is this guy gonna like make it all the way to the end? There's so many tiles left. Oh no. Gihun, I'm stressed for you. Oh God. Oh no. Oh God. He's gonna be a bully. F Christ, of course he is. He's such a bully. He just bullies to win these games. It's horrible. That's not the kind of face you should keep behind the mask. Oh God. This guy is such a creep. Ew. Nice, good job. Tell me everything. You know about the game. God, there's less than five minutes left. Oh my God. <laughs> oh boy. That was her, wasn't it? Minio? Is that how you say her name? I always forget. Yep. She's gonna have a moment here. It's gonna waste another minute. I hope she survives after this. This is pretty epic. Is she, whoa, holy <laughs> you naive, oh God, is she? <laughs> she's gonna kill herself and take him with her? She's crazy. She's big crazy. <laughs> she did say that. Holy <laughs> she meant it. At, at, even if she dies, holy Ah! <laughs> 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 Oh, and it was temp. It wasn't the tempered one. Wow, that's how she's going out. She took him with her. What a badass! Wow, she was so annoying and cocky the whole time. But I really appreciate that she did that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is it just gonna be like Sang Wu, Sai Biok, and Gi Hun left at the end of this? I feel like it is. Holy! F we went through so many people in this game. Wait, really? Is this guy gonna survive? He's right. He knows what he's doing. Oh my God, come on, bro. I know you got a job to do, but like, please try to do it quickly. I think he's examining the refraction of the light. Let me adjust the settings. Oh no. Why would you do that? Oh, f 
F you guys. You guys are horrible. They're playing like a cat and mouse game. It's f***ing awful. I mean, they've been doing that the whole time, but this is, you change it halfway through, that's f***ed up. It's really just mean. Yeah, he's not so confident now. Oh, wow. You guys get out there and do it. Oh, yeah, I guess he's just knocking these people out. He's not killing them. That's good. I figured he probably wouldn't. Oh, did he flee? Oh, there he is. 20 seconds. He's going to push him. <laughs> Saying Wu is, is savage, man. He's really, really, really savage. But it kind of needed to be done. There's only 20 seconds. Go, Sang Wu. I know. Oh, you made a horrible decision, my dude. But but you, you got to just go. 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 Oh, f Christ. Porgy Hun. Oh, God. Wow, it's just these three left. Holy f It's just them three. Oh, my God. Don't get glass in your eyes. Oh, they're getting cut. That's wonderful. What is with the slow motion? Are we building to something? This is so intense. Whoa, with the drums. This is a lot. And they keep getting cut. Oh, my God. Ah. Ay, ay, ay. Is that really necessary, guys? Oh, yeah, he took an oxygen tank. He's diving because he got the footage he needed. I thought he was going to blow up the island for a second. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, don't get caught. Please don't get caught. Oh, that's the end of the episode. Wow. Oh, God, I wanted it to keep going. That was so intense. I went... Ah. <laughs> He made it to land. Oh, his phone. Good, good, good. He's got no service though. So this must just be a random, is this a random island that he's on? He's gonna go to try to get service to send the video. My God, she's bleeding a lot. Are they not gonna help her? This is so f***ed up. It's like if she dies, so be it, whatever. I mean, I know that that's like the point, but it's just so messed up because it's because of the way they shatter the glass that she's bleeding. Oh goody, a special gift. How exciting. Oh, a new outfit. Because you guys are just dancing ponies, remember. How much is she bleeding? I'm worried about her. Where did she get cut? Oh, God. <gasps> ah! Oh, my God. Can they really not, like... Oh, Christ. I don't want her to die. Please, I like her. No. Did an organ get pierced? I'm concerned about her. Oh, God. God somebody give this girl a high iron meal and some stitches, please. Oh, it's a white outfit, of course. She's gonna get blood all over it. Oh my god. Why do they look- it looks like a butler uniform or like a waiter uniform. Bring him alive. Oh, goody. He's shooting the oxygen tank? Oh, so he can't escape. Oh, he's not gonna have time to send the video, is he? I feel like he's about to be caught. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god. It was like a waiter uniform. Are they about to be served dinner? Or like, what's- or do they have to serve dinner? What the f*** is this? Oh no, it's for the contestants, interesting. At least it's a steak. She needs the iron, man. This is the best they've eaten the whole time they've been here. Oh God, these guys are look so shell-shocked. They must be so hungry, despite everything they've been through, you know? Cause they've only been fed like potatoes and bread. She looks so rough, man, she's so weak. Is she able to get it down? Oh God, I'm worried for her. She probably doesn't want to show that she's weak, you know, but cause she's scared for her life. She probably thinks if she shows a sign of weakness, they'll kill her. Oh no, he's about to be caught in this clearing, I think. Oh, is it a cliff? Yep. What are you gonna do? Well, oh God. This is the most stressful high-class dinner I've ever seen. She barely ate any of it. Could she not stomach it? Because she's not feeling good? Oh God. I don't want her to die. Oh no, what's the knife about? Why are they leaving a knife? This is all a game, isn't it? Ay, ay, ay. Can we just give these guys a break? Do they just leave the knives there to make it spicy? Oh, God. They did that intentionally. They gave them all knives. That's so f***ed up. <laughs> Holy f***, he shot him. Uh-oh. What are you gonna do, dude? Who? <laughs> Is it his brother? How f***ed up would that be? That wouldn't make really any sense, would it? Is it the guy that roped uh, Ki Hoonan in the subway station? <gasps> no. Wait, is it his brother? Hyung. He's gonna kill him? Hyung is why? why? Oh my god. What the f***? What a plot twist. What the I did not think this guy was gonna die! 
And by his brother, I'm presuming this is his brother. I, I got to go back and check his name again. But that's that's so insane. So when you win this, do you get roped into this madness? What the f***? What? He just shot him like it was nothing. After all that effort my man went to. Oh, God. And they come back to their room and it's like this. Oh, God. They're not going to sleep tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is she still bleeding? I'm so worried about her. Is she dying? I don't want her to die. Donkey. Yeah, I care more about these two surviving than I do about saying woo, but she looks like so rough, man. He, Gihun really is always rooting for an underdog, you know? He like allied himself with the old man from the beginning. Yeah. Oh my god, she's opening up to more than just the girl who died in episode 6. Oh, if they don't make it out. Oh, if either one of them makes it out, they'll look after each other's family. Oh, because she thinks she's gonna die. <laughs> he's gonna sneak over there when Sang Woo's falling asleep? That's cold blooded, man. I don't think he's that kind of guy. I don't think you're gonna be able to go through with it, Ki Hoon. I don't think you would kill him. Also, I think he could be faking it, to be honest. Oh, maybe he's just gonna try to get the knife. Oh no, he's getting his knife. Jesus Christ. Holy f Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. I just see. Yeah, that's what, exactly what I was thinking. You're not that kind of person, Gihun. Thank you for saying that, Saibyok. I thought the same thing. Did she just die? God damn it. No. No, 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 no. 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 Oh, this sucks, man. I don't want this. There is no doctor. They don't care about you in here. I'm nervous about saying woo right now because we can't see him. Oh, they listened? Are they going to come in? They, they don't care. I mean, oh, they're just bringing a coffin for her? Are you kidding me? Wow. What? What? Did he just finish her off? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Saying woo just killed her. I really didn't think she was gonna die. I thought she was gonna make it. That's so awful. He's so cold-blooded, man. He's awful. Oh, guys, no. Oh, oh, God. Wow, they intervene now. They don't intervene before then. No, we gotta make them play one last game. Horrible. I thought she was gonna live because of her brother. Oh, and now we're seeing this guy mourning the loss of his brother. Oh, even though he killed him. <laughs> this show is so messed up, man. I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm pissed that she died. I she was like the one person I like really wanted to survive. Are they gonna play Squid Game? Holy! <laughs> oh, triangle. Oh, it brings it all the way back to when he chose triangle during Dalgona. <laughs> he gets the advantage. They have to play in these suits and dress shoes too. This is kind of crazy. This whole thing is just such a spectacle. It's so awful. Oh, and they're all watching in their creepy animal masks. Would they? So they would have played this if they if there were three of them left and it just would have been uneven teams. Last one standing wins. I mean, if they get knifed to death. Oh, great. So we can just knife each other. Wow. <sighs> Gihun is pissed. Gihun is, he is pissed. It was the most physical and violent. So any kind of violence is allowed. Sure. Really? Is that why the game's not allowed anymore? Oh my god. I can't, this is so crazy too because he's going up against his childhood friend. At that shot, I think we saw that kid grabbing the dirt in the beginning when we introduced this game. Ooh, smart move. Smart move. He's pissed. He's gonna win. He looks like he just has lost all respect for Sang Woo and it's starting to rain. Oh no. Oh, this lady's still here. Oh God. She terrifies me. Can't we get rid of her? I've never seen him so resolute in his anger. Like this is the most like sure he's been. Oh God. 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 I don't like this. Oh, he kicked it out. He kicked it away. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. And it's slippery. Oh God. Don't get him. Let him knock you out of the lines. Oh, he got him in his eyeball. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. This is horrible. How do people like watching shit like this? These guys are up. Oh God, no. Gihun, no. He's trying to smother you. Ah, no. 
No! This is so sad, man. As much as I don't like saying woo, it's like, I just, he's just trying to survive too. Are they both gonna die? What the f man? Gihun! Yeah. No, no! Oh, oh, his hand! Ah! Oh god, this is so gross. This really is, you guys were not kidding when you said that it was, this game was gruesome. Oh my god. This is so sad. Oh god, there's a knife in his hand. Ay, ay, ay. Ah! I don't think he's gonna kill him. I feel like, oh, he is? Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought he might take the tactic of just winning the game as opposed to killing him. Oh yeah, he is. He isn't gonna kill him. He's showing him that he could have, but he's better than him. This game is over. Yep, that about wraps it up. Uh-oh, I don't think so, because they said that. I thought it would have been fine, but now I don't know. Maybe Gihun's thinking, is there a way we can both survive? Because he knows that this last step means he's gonna die. Oh no. <gasps> is he quitting? No, you you have to make it out of here to save Saibyok's brother, though. <gasps> Clause three of the agreement. The games may be terminated. He's trying to save his life after all this. <laughs> Oh, with this sad music that's been reoccurring coming back in. <gasps> oh, he sacrificed himself. Oh my god. Oh, oh, his mom, you know, oh, he wants, because he's like, he just wants, he wants his mom to be okay. He was doing it all for his mom. He wants somebody to leave with the money so that his mom can be taken care of. Oh. Man, that's really heartbreaking. He didn't want Gihun to give it up because his whole time was motivating to protect his mother because he put her into that horrible situation, you know? He probably felt like he had like a really strong conviction to get her out of it because he put her in such a bad place. That's so sad. That's so sad, man. Oh my God, Gihun. There's not enough therapy in the world, man. Uh, <laughs> Are they just gonna drop him off on the street again? They're just throwing him back into the world. He had a card stuffed in his mouth. Oh, a credit card. That's with all the money on it. What's his pin? Does he know it? Oh God, we're back to this again. Did that pin have any significance? I forget. That's not his daughter's birthday pin, right? It's something else. You better never lose that card, I guess. Jesus. The amount of, oh yeah, it says it right there, wow. The amount of trauma that he's gone through, like money can't really fix that. <gasps> Saying who's mother? Oh, so much, ma'am. So much. Oh. She won't pick up her phone? Are you kidding me? Did she f die? Oh, God, she f died while he was in the game playing, didn't she? Oh, God, where is his mom? Please tell me she didn't die. No. No. She f died, man. Oh, <sighs> oh, come on. God damn it. Oh, God. I only have this one little tissue. I can't, man. She died all alone because he couldn't be there for her. Oh, my God. Ten? Oh, one year later. Oh, my God. A year later. What about his daughter? <laughs> what about Sang Woo's mom? What about Sai Byok's brother? I mean, what about everybody? Please tell me. Oh, no. He doesn't look good. Oh, no. Oh. oh my god. The card matches the present box that we've seen on like people's coffins and throughout this entire series. What the hell? They won't leave him alone. Oh god. Oh god. Not again. <gasps> from Ganbu. What? That would be from Ilnam? I think that's how I said his name, right? He's alive? I mean, we technically didn't see him get shot because we panned around the corner. Was he like the orchestrator of the whole thing or something? And like, Gihun was the only one who treated him human, so that's why he won? Like what, what's going on? Oh my God. This is a twist that I was not expecting. This is crazy. I fucking wept for your ass, dude. I thought you were dead. Oh my God. His eyebrow is quivering. He is uh, combusting. <laughs> Yeah, don't kill him. I want the answers. I'm, I'm so confused right now. 
Enough with the games! Oh my god. This is so freaking crazy, man. He wasn't lying about the tumor. Huh? Oh no. He's not helping him. Wow. He's literally like, it looks like he's outside of like a hospital too, but probably not. They both are depressed. I don't know. <laughs> what? Living is no fun for them. Ah, yeah. Everything gets boring. Huh? They had no joy in life anymore. That's because joy doesn't come from consuming, I don't think. It comes from creating and relationships and purpose, your drive, you know, passions, pursuits. So they created Squid Game? That was for fun. Yeah, that's so f***ed up. He did look like he was having a lot of fun playing the games. It was kind of messed up, but it explains why he wasn't surprised that everybody was getting shot during Red Light, Green Light. Is this guy dying on the street? This is so messed up. The way they're shooting all this though is so intense. Oh my God, a cop is coming now. Oh, that person was helping them. They just went to go get the police first. It's always down to the wire with him. Did he just die? Oh my God, man. So crazy. Uh, this man had nobody else in his life to be here when he was dying. <sighs> what is gi -hun going to do now? I want him to go help the people. He, I guess he didn't technically promise to help anyone, but I want him to go help Sangwoo's mom and Saibyok's brother. Oh God, he got it dyed? Oh my God, he's reinventing himself. <laughs> God, I don't have any more tissues. Oh, that's the only time we've seen her smile. I feel like in the whole show. Oh, Sangwoo's mom. Oh, he's going to do it. He's going to help them. Oh, did he put all the money in there? I bet he put the money in the suitcase. Or at least a lot of it. She just adopted him. Like, that's crazy. Yep, she's going to go into the suitcase thinking there's clothes in there and it's going to be money. <laughs> it's just so sad, though, because, like, he's never probably going to know what happened to his sister. Oh, what does it say? The money I owe Sang Woo. Oh, probably never gonna tell her what happened to Sang Woo though. That's gonna kill her. She's never gonna know, you know? There's so many things left unanswered. Oh God, what's happening? What is he seeing? What's in the train? Oh, oh, they're playing the game. I did think we were in the same station. Oh my God, that's crazy. Oh, don't drop, don't leave your bag. Is he gonna try to get over there to like stop it? I bet he's about to get on the train and leave. Wow. Oh God. Oh, he's like, no, you don't wanna play this game, son, trust me. Oh God, is this how we're gonna go into season two? Is he gonna call the number? Oh no. No, go to LA, go to your daughter, no. Oh God. Wow, what a long, suspenseful shot following him this whole way down the bridge. He's gonna call the number. That's why he wants to know what. Oh. Oh, they've been following him. Holy sh! They know. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, he's gonna go after them. But how, dude? Holy moly! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm cracking up because uh, Netflix suggested that I watch Tiger King immediately after this. <laughs> what the f***, Netflix? It got a green light for a second season. Okay, wow. I mean, that makes sense given how they ended the first one, but I'm wondering what kind of tactic they're going to take for season two because Gi Hun clearly wants to go after them, but I wonder how he's going to do that. I'm not going to lie, I kind of have a pounding uh, headache right now. I think... Sometimes when I cry, that can trigger headaches for me. And then also just sitting here with these bright lights in front of my face can trigger a headache sometimes. It doesn't happen too often, but today is just one of those days where I'm having a tension headache. So 
Um, I'm probably gonna keep this intro pretty short and sweet. I also feel like I'm still processing a lot because there were so many insane plot twists in the last couple episodes, given the fact that the front man is played by the detective's brother and we still don't know why that's the case and why he is doing that job and the Il Nam being thrown in there is one of the people wearing an animal mask and being in charge of the whole thing was also so insane. There were just a lot of things that were thrown in there at the end that were really intense and threw me for a loop and I feel like I'm still processing <laughs> those plot twists even happening. So much of the way this show was executed though was just top notch. Even the scene where El Nam was dying slowly and we kept cutting back and forth between the man on the street and the grandfather clock ticking away and getting closer and closer slowly on Il Nam's face. I mean, that cinematography and editing was just so brilliant. It just pulled me in. And there have been so many moments like that in this show that are just crafted so well. And I know I keep saying that, but it's really true. The sound design has always been so good at making me uh, feel so tense and pulling me to the edge of my seat. And then there'll be moments of silence right after, you know, ticking or um, something really suspenseful and repetitive. And the silence will then, you know, feel really jarring and wreck me in some moments. And then they'll bring in, you know, classical music to infuse maybe some humor. And the, the amount of times that I've ended some of these episodes actually feeling kind of sick to my stomach, I think is a testament to how well this show is done. Because it's not like I'm feeling sick to my stomach necessarily because of the gruesomeness of it. Because yes, it's gruesome, but it's not any more gruesome, I think, than something like the Game of Thrones. I've seen gruesome shows before. It's not like this is, this isn't like a slasher, right? It's, it's definitely palatable. It's just a bit much in some moments. So when I'm feeling sick to my stomach, it's really because of the intense moments that I've just been put through and the timers, the clicking and the ticking sounds, the clocks, the shaky, intense moments in the sound design. I don't even know how to explain it properly with words. It just feels like somebody's kind of like doing this. <laughs> it just feels like a clock is ticking away constantly during each game. The acting has been incredible this whole time, but I really feel like the actors have gotten even more of a chance to play around with their range in the last half of this season. I would say from episode six onward, I've really felt like I've seen some powerhouse performances. Um, episode six, I, I felt like I saw that from everybody involved with all those goodbye scenes and powerful monologues. Um, that scene was, that whole episode was just acted beautifully. With this last episode, with Gi Hun going home to discover that his mother was dead. I mean, ugh, it was gut-wrenching uh, to see that realization slowly hit him and to see him in denial for so long about it. It was just absolutely heartbreaking. And even the lighting for that scene, it was so dark, but her face was lit more than his. And even that was like really upsetting. I'm like working myself up right now talking about it, but it was because it was so well done. It's really a shame that I'm out of tissues. <laughs> uh. Even the scene with Sang Woo's mother and Gi Hun when he walks past her fish shack for the first time since he's gotten out. And uh, that scene, Lee Jung Jae just did such a stellar job in everything, but that scene really hit me a lot as well. You could just feel his devastation and his pain, but also it almost seemed like he wasn't even there. You know, he was having like an out of body experience. It was just so powerful. And uh, I really feel like everyone did such a good job in this show. Ho Yeon Chung did such an incredible job. I, I completely understand why there's so much buzz about her. You know, for so much of the series, she really was so deadpan and serious and put up such a tough front. And so a lot of her performance had to be really nuanced and subtle. It was all playing underneath because she was protecting herself. I feel like episode six was the first time we really saw her let her walls down with that girl who sacrificed herself for her. From there on out, you know, I just, I wanted to root from her for the beginning since I learned, you know, about her driving force with her brother, but that really made me want her to win so badly. And it was just heartbreaking that she died and her, her death scene was even so, powerful. She just did a really great job. I, I just really loved a lot about the artistry that I saw executed in this entire show from top to bottom. <laughs> Art style, sound design, lighting, cinematography. I mean, the themes that we explored with using children's games 
to do this life or death competition is just so morbid. That monologue from Il Nam in the end, like, why did you do this? You know, he just wanted to have fun. It's so messed up. And I think they just did such a good job with it because I feel like this is something I'm going to think about <laughs> for so long because you can kind of empathize with a lot of the people in this show, but also what these contestants have been put through is just so awful. I'm left feeling really morbidly curious about why some of these people are doing what they're doing and what's going on behind the scenes. So I'm assuming we're going to get more of those answers in season two. I'd be interested uh, to see how Gihun is going to go about infiltrating the system or what he plans to do because they know who he is. It's definitely a lot to think about <laughs> with a show like this, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Definitely see what all the buzz is about. <laughs> now I feel like I can finally roam free on the internet again. That's a relief. I feel like, you know, for so long people kept mentioning this show in content that I was watching, and I would have to click off and I'd panic, fearing that I was going to see a spoiler because. People just would not stop talking about it. So now at least I know how it all ends. <laughs> I feel a little bit scattered, to be honest, right now. I don't know if this outro is going to make much sense because I, my headache is pretty intense and I feel kind of all over the place, to be honest, right now. This show has really shaken me up uh, in a good way. But yeah, I don't know how much sense I'm making right now. So I think I'm just going to go. But I really enjoyed this show and I really look forward to seeing your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.